after such a big prayer program that happened in Kenya it takes a maximum of seven days for the report to talk to take to come out seven days I'm a prophet and I'm not trying to be and I know things of the prophets I decided to check the impact of the prayers of Pastor Benny Hinn and I've got nothing against him I've got totally nothing against him in fact I am too little to talk about Benny Hill. I am totally nothing before him if we go by the standards of humans. I'm not even worthy to open my mouth and call his name. But because I'm a prophet, I will call his name. And I'm a prophet on this land. The prayer that was done by Pastor Benny Hinn in Kenya, it is invalid in the presence of God. The kneeling of the pastors, the kneeling of the men of God behind the president was not right and God chose his servants to carry his authority and his anointing. So when Benny Hinn told pastors to kneel behind the president, that was abomination before the Lord. And pastors of Kenya, you have a price to pay. But I'm here to tell Ben Hill, this country has prophets. Those demons will not survive here. Amen. They will not survive here. No innocent Kenyan will die Amen. as a price. Amen. And Ben Hill, you understand what I'm talking because we are all in the spirit. You cannot go to sleep in graves and bring those spirits here in Kenya. It will not work. I asked God when I was in Dubai, Lord, why have you brought me to Dubai the time I'm supposed to be down there? I asked God about it. Why have you brought me to Dubai when I'm supposed to be back home constructing your place for worship, fighting? Then the Lord reminded me a dream of 2014, 10 years down the line. A dream of 2014, it was reminded to me. A dream and the date. It was on 2014th, January on 14th. God reminded me, do you remember the dream I gave you? Then I remembered that 2014 January on 14th, I had a dream that I was somewhere on the mountain. There's a common mountain at home where I normally go. So there is a place where people go to pray. If you have a gift, you are a pastor, you are a shepherd, you go there, you pray. It's just a portion. The spirit of shepherd. Apple. So I saw in the dream that I was there. And as, as I was there, it blew, changed into a country. It was like a country now. And I'm being removed from there. Like now it's a country. It's the same place on the mountain, but now it looks like a country. I'm being removed from there and I'm being taken to another country for 14 days. Then I'm being told, I'm asking the person who removed me, why are you removing me and I've not finished my prayers? Then he's telling me there is some contamination coming and you have to be separated so that you come back when the contamination is over and save the ships. I'm seeing some flocks, some ships with manure, manure. They are there. So when I woke up from the dream, I didn't understand. I thought God was removing me from Kisumu because something was to take place. And I always say one thing, when I don't understand but I know it, I keep it. Until the right time to understand. Not everything you must understand. Some things God will tell you so that you keep them because the time for understanding them has not come. Have I spoken to a mature Christian here? There are times God will give you information so that you may have it because the time to understand it is not yet. When the time for understanding comes, he will come and tell you, do you remember 
and you say oh lord i do now this is it because the time has come so god told you do you remember the dream i said very well like just yesterday that is the thing so when i was in dubai god told me the time has come and asked god what is the time three weeks down the line before i left here martin is my witness here moses is my witness here miriam is my witness here three times i called the media team i wanted to pass the message and immediately they could prepare the cameras i go blank something takes me over or i find myself doing something i remember the last day they did the cameras and everything i told them i'm going down to help myself i didn't come up when i came up i came up with the because god didn't want me to talk about things before the it's time when i was in dubai martin prepared the camera twice billy is my witness i didn't record anything and i realized i was fighting with something i was fighting with the will of god the will of god was keep quiet the time has not come keep quiet the time has not come keep quiet when the time comes i will tell you to talk and now i want to talk after such a big prayer program that happened in kenya it takes a maximum of seven days for the report to talk to take to come out seven days seven days i am telling you people of god seven days i'm a prophet and i'm not trying to be and i know things of the prophet paul says even if i'm a prophet with the secret and the knowledge of god and i don't have love i am useless so i'm not a prophet because i can prophesy i'm not a prophet because i can travel in the timelines but i'm a prophet because i know the secrets of god and the mysteries of god i decided to check the impact of the prayers of pastor benny Hinn, and i've got nothing against him i've got totally nothing against him in fact i am too little to talk about benny Hinn. i am totally nothing before him if we go by the standards of humans i'm not even worthy to open my mouth and call his name but because i'm a prophet i will call his name i'm not calling his name because i'm anywhere closer to his level i am totally nowhere but i'm calling his name because i'm a prophet of god and i'm a prophet on this land the prayer that was done by pastor benny Hinn in kenya it is invalid in the presence of god and i will give the reports personally as a prophet i went and checked the records of heaven and all things that were done in kenya they were dramas minds of people politically arranged but now kenya hear the feedback of god when you did it you expected a result and now here i am with your results i asked god why are you giving me such kind of reports when kenya has powerful servants of god who are driving big vehicles who have big accounts and big names i am just nothing but a former street boy why are you giving me this kind of information and god told me he doesn't go by the standards of humans he goes by his anointing he doesn't go by who you think you are he goes by what he has deposited in his own people number one 
the kneeling of the pastors the kneeling of the men of God behind the president was not right and God chose his servants to carry his authority and his anointing so when Ben Hinn told pastors to kneel behind the president that was abomination before the Lord and pastors of Kenya you have a price to pay God says he anointed you to carry the holy anointing you need to explain why you went on your knees before behind a human Ruto is president and that has nothing to do with the systems of heaven if there is anything Ruto has systems of the earth and only Kenya and if he goes far East Africa but not the systems of heaven it was a crime for you men and women carrying the anointing of God to kneel behind a man God wants an explanation from all of you why and I took everything as he was talking to me and I will read them as I noted then explain the kneeling of the men of God behind the president was not right God chose his servants to carry his authority and ordain the earthly leaders cause of the mantle upon them what they did was wrong and their authorities were taken away and so God is demanding the gift that he placed over you so let this one be known and let it be heard So if you know you are a bishop, you are an evangelist, and you went on your knees, you know what to do. Find him in the secret place. Give you explanation. And let me now explain this, the impact of it to Kenyans. There are three authorities on earth. We have the military authority. We have the authority that comes from legislature. The highest level should be a president or a king. I don't know how to term that in English. Administrative. Yeah? Can we call it that way? executive authority the highest level is the president then we have the spiritual authority today anything that president signs becomes a law it has effect directly to the people he's leading true or false today any disagreement that the military can have in this country will have an effect to the nation true or false how about spiritual office? You want to tell me it doesn't have effect? When you are fathers, the gatekeepers bowed down. Look at this. I want you to look at this spiritually. Now I'm explaining as a prophet so that you understand. God will never arise an issue without telling his prophet so that the prophet can tell people so that they understand. Leave this funny funny things you are being told oh God has said God says when God accuses he tells his prophet to explain the effect because he's a righteous and justice God he doesn't just say I will beat you without giving an account to why when he told Abraham I want to destroy Sodom he told Abraham go and confirm their iniquities and tell me if they are not worthy the punishment when Abraham came back, told God, surely I have not even found one. When your pastors went behind the president and they were the first one to kneel, they opened the spiritual gates. 
Then the president was told to kneel. He opened the executive gate. Then when Ben he knelt, he summoned the powers. And each pastor who did that, they will start burying members of their churches. People will be dying like bees, like flies in their churches. And they cannot stop it because they opened the gate. And ask God, is this the reason why you removed me from Kenya and you brought me to Dubai for 14 days? And God told me, yes. Remember the dream, 2014. And I understood the dream. And I know many people have been asking, what does Prophet Samuel say? I am not here to entertain. I'm not a news anchor. I'm a voice of God. I only speak when he speaks. When he's silent, I'm silent. Because there's so much that he assigned me to do. But I'm here to tell Ben Hill, this country has prophets. Those demons will not survive here. They will not survive here. No innocent Kenyan will die as a price. And then in you understand what I'm talking because we are all in the spirit. You cannot go to sleep in graves and bring those spirits here in Kenya. It will not work. Kenya has prophets. 